Hello everyone, welcome to Respectful Dave. I've been playing chess for over a decade now, and today we're going to learn how to move the queen. Let's go. So, the queen is the most powerful chess piece out of all. Not the most important, that's the king, but the most powerful, which means that it can go to many squares, and it's worth 9 points. The reason why it's so powerful is because it's pretty much a rook and the bishop combined. If you don't know how to move any of those pieces, I strongly recommend you to check out one of my other videos where I explain those two in detail. Now, let me explain. A rook goes up, down, left, right, and the bishop moves diagonally, which makes the queen, once again, so powerful. This queen, from the center, could go up, down, so left, right, yeah. Can go one square, up, or all the way up. And the same applies, or it can go to the middle, like to the middle square. Or it can go down to any of these squares, yeah? And yes, the queen can go backwards. Many people think the queen cannot go backwards, that's not true. The queen can go up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, and to the sides. Now, on top of that, that's the way a rook moves. So, you would say, David, this is not original, this is pretty much a rook. Well, this is where it gets exciting, because the queen can also move diagonally, which makes it, let's say, for example, the left side of diagonal, the right diagonal, which make it, makes it very flexible, or it can make it makes it very powerful. It can go to so many squares. And if you count all of these squares, give me a second. If you count the total amount of squares this queen can go to from the center, you're going to realize that it can go to 27 different squares. That's a lot for a chess piece. And one last time, that is the reason why the queen is so valuable. It's, it's very, very powerful. Let's take a look at this position. How many pawns is the queen attacking? How many pawns are in danger because of the queen? Let's go through it. So this queen from the center is attacking one pawn. That's diagonal. Let's, let's take a look at this pawn. Is this queen attacking that pawn? No, it's not. That would be a knight move. And that's something else that people get wrong. People think, oh, the queen can do everything else any other chess piece can do. No, that's wrong. The queen, the only move that the queen cannot replicate is the knight. So that's why, actually, people like the knight so much, because it's so unique. But the queen cannot replicate or cannot imitate or cannot move like a knight. So we have one pawn so far. Sorry. This this one is not in its scope. So that doesn't count. Is this pawn in its scope? Can this queen take that pawn? Yes, it can. Because that would be moving up, down, left, right. So this is left. That pawn is attacked by the queen. This pawn is also attacked by the queen. That's diagonal. Is this pawn attacked by the queen? No, it's not. That would be, once again, a knight move. So we're not going to highlight that one. This pawn is attacked by the queen. This one is a little bit tricky. This diagonal is empty. So that would, this pawn is very close to the diagonal, but it cannot be taken by the queen. That would be a weird move. In fact, no, no piece in chess moves like that. That would be a weird move. This one, not possible either, because that would be a weird move. And once again, this one, not possible either. That would be a knight move. So, the total amount of pawns this queen can take is 1, 2, 3, 4. The queen cannot jump over other pieces. What does that mean? In chess, there's only one piece that jumps, and it's the knight. No other piece in chess jumps. What do I mean with jump? David, what do you mean with that? So, if this knight were to move, were wanted to move, it could move to f3, jumping, look at this pawn, jumping this pawn, and it can, it can go to f3. You don't have to move this pawn first out of the way and then move the knight. You can move the knight directly. So the knight jumps. For example, this bishop doesn't do that. This bishop, you have to move the pawn and then move the bishop. Or, in the case of the queen, which is what we're talking about, we have to move this pawn, and then let's say black plays this, and then we can move the queen. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you want to watch more videos like this, where I teach chess as well as I can, you can check out my YouTube channel. And on top of that, I also stream most of the time. So you can drop by and say hello and learn from me.
Thank you very much. Have a nice day.